Presentation time, everybody. Do we have the uh, prize, the top prize. Oh yeah. I'll... Here. Uh, you hold it. I have oh. the oh, hold it by the hand. There you okay. go. <laughs> That's uh. All right. Welcome to the hack, people. No, we're going to show them the prize first. Chris is grabbing the top prize to motivate oh, everybody. Oh, wow, wow. Check out these prizes. Look at that. Pump three, pump two. It's the cross country one, so $47.99. Dude, great piece of hardware. A lot of value. A lot of value. So we're going to leave those here. And uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you yeah, I have a slideshow. Oh, yeah, let's get the, the, the HDMI or something. Is it beer or clock? I think it might be beer. I'm going to stop this and then try to just beer. Beer o'clock. Wow, man. Captain Hines is ending. So sad. It's been great. Whatever. Uh, we got to unplug the right TV, huh? Yeah. If anyone wants beer. Beer o'clock. I think it's beer o'clock. It's presentation time. That means it's beer o'clock. I remember this last year. Yeah. Beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. Can you talk me that remote? Modelo's in the little fridge. Other beers that look confusing in the big fridge. All right, I'll give a little, little sneak preview for one of the... I forgot One of the ones you guys coming up. Computer runs Windows. Because oh. Linux doesn't support six monitors. Don't show them the real killer feature of this. No, I'm just gonna. Yeah. He's it's sleeping. The common body's sleeping. The secret feature to be shown. Yeah, secret feature to be shown later. Wait, what? That's a really good prize. Even a red panda? Wait, that's better than second prize. I don't know if we can do that. I think they get their choice of panda, whatever color they like. One color. Wow, they even get a gray, no, they'll get a gray panda. That's a gray panda. panda. What? Or ten white pandas. Uh, that's a lot of white, that's a lot of value. Oh, these, are, these are nice prizes. If I was in charge of the prizes, it would have been like a t-shirt. <laughs> be two t-shirts for first place. This is why they don't put me in charge of prizes. Yeah, everyone here got free sweatpants too. Already. See, that's what you get for being a champion. You know everyone at Common Hack is a champion. That's right. <laughs> but some people are more champion than others, and that's what we're here to determine right now. <laughs> All right, looks like the TV's almost ready. Who is most champion? Gets a common three cross country. I think, I think, yeah. Yeah, we'll get a consensus. We'll go in that room, we'll roll a 20-sided die, and that's a little decide. Wait, <laughs> 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 hey, Shane, want to hold the stream for a second? I'm going to go grab a tripod. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we remember your name, you're more likely to win the prize So you have to kind of do this. So this was great. I got the answer I needed. When people ask me, I can tell them. We're probably like this. And I know where in the show that things are happening. It's awesome. Um, then I wanted to do something more interesting. So I tried to do the seed project. Um, I shared a device with the DisplayPort team. So that caused me to have to learn some more interesting things. And the common body project was going on. Um, 
and so I just kind of got distracted a lot. I ended up doing a, like a web streaming thing. Uh, I used the canvas to kind of uh, being it, be able to manipulate what the camera's doing based on the face position information. That was interesting, but not exactly what was expected. So then I started working on the Comma 2 uh, that, that I used to drive home every night for two hours. I didn't want to brick it. So it also <laughs> takes a long time to uh, compile on that. So I decided to just impulse buy the C3 today. It's awesome. Woo! Woo! And I'm busy trying to get it running on there. Uh, I don't know enough OpenGL to get the actual demo working, so I didn't complete it, but it's been fun. Thank you. Cool. People want to be on the table. So five people want to be on the table. You know, I see that falling over there. You know what might be able to hold that up great? Ooh, I think I know what you're, what you're saying. Coming soon. <laughs> All right, my name is Cameron Rakes. Uh, this is what I worked on on the hackathon. Thanks for inviting me. So the common body is very clearly the feature of this company. It's going to be in Walmart watching people check out groceries. It's going to learn how they move. What we, they were doing, we were doing staff. By six yeah, 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 right? It's like, place the people. But it's clearly exponential growth, right? <laughs> Starting at one, <laughs> next year's going to be five. This year's going to be like 500,000, these common bodies, right? They're going to be everywhere. So we're thinking about the long tail. We've got to think about the future of humanity, right? We're all going to be in metaverse plugged in. Right, so what's the future of artificial intelligence in this new world? Is it the Omni Bridge? So any game or software on Linux, you put into the Omni Bridge, puts it into OpenPilot, gets back the steering gas and brake, and it outputs the keyboard controls and joystick through X11 or U input to the game or software in question. Because you can run OpenPilot on something like Mario Kart 7 with a legally acquired ROM, right? Or if you don't have access to something like that. Do something like Team Fortress 2, right? <laughs> 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 what am I talking about? <laughs> so it's coming to Open Pilot Master sometime near, once Carlo's working again. Live demo, live demo. Yeah, you want to see a live demo? Yeah! <laughs> Let's do, you guys want to see Mario Kart 7? Yeah, I tried it with super, good. I started with Super Tax, but it didn't work super well. Does Open Pilot know how to click through Start? A button? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do gas is pressing A. One second. We love live demos. Live demos are what make hackathons great. Yep. Is the water on a live demo? Yeah. It better. <laughs> Wait, is it not in a good state? It's tethered. Well, I mean, you know, there were some tragedies. At least it has a working screen. <laughs> We broke, the body has broken one screen so far. It's a $300 replacement in the Kama Parts shop. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so it's not super perfect. There's some issues, right? Uh, it's still going. <laughs> is, it, is it a calibration issue? I think we need more Mario Kart training data. We need to highlight. Very out of It wants to turn. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's not turning right now. It's turning backwards. <laughs> Is there a one-click reset? Yeah, yeah, here. It looks like it's going to go back to the start. Yeah, sometimes it gets turned around. Uh, you don't see. I did cherry pick some good video. I found that somewhere. No, 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 no. We like the real demo. <laughs> Let try it again. How clean is the zombie bridge code? Can we upstream it? I'm going to upstream it later. We need, right, we need, right, we need, we need to wait for Carla to like actually not be broken and then... Um, no, I mean, Carla's a tragedy because, you know, you need like a 3080 Ti yeah, yeah, and yeah. like a Ryzen 5950 to run it. This is an IGPU. Ooh, quality. Intel. I never run GitHub Actions. 
Can we Mario Kart and GitHub Actions? Yeah, we're going to upstream a Mario Kart ROM. No, 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 no. It's going to download it from like romsforyou.ru. It's going to legally acquire the ROM. Hey, GitHub Actions, I'm sure, owns a copy of Mario Kart. Let's try this. Wait, how's it driving right now? It's pressing A. Oh. It's going straight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it seems the more it's turning right than left. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's what I worked on. It's going to be up here pretty soon. <laughs> Who's next? Yeah, maybe we'll just do a continuous motion. Well, it's a lot of volunteers. I don't think we have to go to picking people yet. Picking people's cruel. The teacher would do that when like everyone wasn't behaving. You, I'm calling on you. Come to the front of the class. Multiply numbers. Beer's in the fridge, everybody. If anyone else wants a beer, it's beer o'clock. Okay. That's pretty this cool. Is a someone said. For every comma owner and future owner, a comp device. Uh, it's about tuning. You want to get into a, a driver assistance uh, supplied vehicle and press engage and just like be totally still down the road, straight in the center of the lane. Perfect longitudinal control. Nice gentle gas and brake. Because that's what the model outputs, but a lot of cars don't follow the plan exactly. So this is about tuning, and I want everyone to tune their cars and have the tools to do it. Uh, this is Plot Juggler, an amazing drag and drop tool, and I created uh, layouts to help people tune their cars. So this is uh, the lateral layout. I uh, it fell asleep actually. Oh. I so uh, when you make a tune and you want to upstream it to comma, which you should do for every car, uh, you want to be able to plot like the exact model output curvature and what your car actually did. And then also there are a lot of effects that can happen that can uh, uh, you don't want to judge. So like if the car is in a roll position, if you're touching the steering wheel, or if you're limited by the steering actuator itself. And uh, you're going to upload uh, in the pull request lots of scenarios, uh, and this layout helps you pick those. Um, for longitudinal, uh, we care if you touch the gas or brake, uh, and we wait five seconds um, after uh, affecting the, the car's performance before showing up on that graph there. Uh, and so this is just a, a log from uh, a demo route by Kama. What I also worked on was uh, half finished, but it's a uh, score for a tune. And I'll try and complete this too. But um, I'm trying to collect a list of uh, your errors over time, find their frequency distribution, um, their mean, the absolute value of the mean. And I'll work on this more, but I'm just comparing you know, how you did achieving that speed and how you did achieving that curvature. That's it. Cool. Sweet. Um, everybody, uh, get your tunes in. We're getting rid of the toggle for laneless. Uh, and when you do, uh, if you have a poorly tuned car, it's going to be worse. So, you know, get your tunes in now, get them in early, now's your chance. And this is already upstreamed. I, hear, I heard the pull request was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will call for people if we don't have volunteers. Okay. You're volunteering? You're volunteering? Yeah. Oh, volunteering. We're missing Kern, where's Kern? Kern, get over here. All right, this is... Sorry to disappoint anybody, but this is a live demo only. Uh, so Great. you have to um, gather around the big screen here, the comma three. <laughs> so raise your hand if anybody has ever hit your car in a parking garage or a parking spot. Great, I see this, is, this, this feature will apply to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so um, uh, Kern, Matt, and I did sentry mode for the comma three. So what this does is if somebody hits your car or tows it, um, it will send you a text message automatically. Um, and uh, we'll give you a demo. Great. Hit it. <laughs> so you can check out here. 
under toggles. We have uh, enable parked car crash slash tow notifications. And uh, you can add your phone number here. This is my phone number. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't have shown that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just you're good. It. Just you're good. It. You're good. You're good. I'm not attached to this phone number. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we'll simulate a crash here. Oh no, somebody <laughs> crashed into our car. My poor Comet 3. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's funny. And uh, check this out. It, it said exactly what happened, which is that we sent something from our Twilio trial account. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Wait, so where are you talking to Twilio? On the, on the device? On the device. We store the phone number on the device, just, uh, just like you wanted. Security, we like that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We also cool. did some work with the temperature sensor, so if the temperature increases by a certain amount in the car, every increase, it'll send you a text message as well. So now, um, do you have to run uh, Sensors D even when you're off-road? Uh, yeah, that's, that's cheat right now. We run, we run Sensors D well. Sensors D on the uh, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a fix in the future. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's great. So um, without sensor D running, it's 4.5% utilization of the CPU. But if you turn it on all the time, it goes up to 7%. So it's about 50% increase. So that's undesirable. Yeah, I mean, it's got, there's, kind of, there's a good power monitor on it. Like this is one of the things that actually holds us back from shipping. Well, actually, no. We want sensor D all the time to come too, right? Because it's yeah. going to do the wake no, up. No, but it uses about 100 milliwatts. It's because we were using 100 milliwatts. Well, it was it was negative. We it's saved way more on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, cool. Um, that's another, I guess, feature that I wanted to mention. So if um, you choose to have it sent to your email, um, if it detects an acceleration um, or a crash, it takes photo on the front and back camera, and then it emails it to you. So that's, that's another way for you to see what happened. How do you send an email? Um, just using Python SMT, SMTP lead. What server do you connect to? Um, so you have to authenticate using your own email account. So you kind of have to put it in first. So you have to put in your Gmail threads into your yes. <laughs> See, this is, like, this is always the problem with these things. I mean, we should just buy a company Twilio account and add a prime endpoint for like sending text messages. And like your prime thing can include things and actually we can definitely set up email as a fact end gateway but prime should really like support these things it should be upstream too. ultra prime well well all ultra prime yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no no normal prime will support this ultra prime will send it faster <laughs> get that get that get that edge 30 seconds to upload a normal prime three on ultra prime ultra prime big bandwidth big price <laughs> great cool cool <laughs> Job. Who's next? All right. Good thing I stayed here till one thirty last night. Great. How many viewers we got? Best comma live ever in Mario Kart. We have 104. Yeah. Nice. Someone built a comma four, and that's definitely the winner. There, he voted. Comma <laughs> four is the winner. I see. Definitely a winner. Yeah, YouTube Live sucks, so it only uses the front cameras. So I literally have to like turn it around and use the screen Wait, you can't switch cameras you, when you switch cameras the mic is still here so like you can't oh. hear anything so I, you have to like hold it like this Comma so for winning the prize reminds me when mr burns gave employee to the month to this titanium rod <laughs> <laughs> so i apologize if some angles aren't perfect i can't see the screen <laughs> 
That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I think we're real nice communists here. Yeah. So. Injection molded communists. No, milled. <laughs> milled. 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 I like milled more. Solid, solid They're asking if next stream could be on the common green. Oh. You want to write that code? <laughs> the issue isn't writing a code, it's maintaining oh, that code. Have a view. Yes, <laughs> please put your YouTube stream key into OBS, which is connecting to the H265 Streamer D port. Oh, yeah, where's Streamer D? Yeah, where's Europe? Yeah. I was wondering where I, mean, it I guess was. it's where we stayed up to 2 a.m. Like they went yeah. to sleep. <laughs> All right. All your excuses. <laughs> Looks good. We good? Go ahead. All right. I'm Greer. I'm Machak. Uh, thanks for having us. It was really fun. Um, so we did a lot of work with uh, Depth 10K. Uh, mainly started focusing on trying to clean up the data set since there was a lot of bad images in it. Um, so this is sort of our was our first approach to just take the segnet outputs and just look at the uh, the proportions of each class in the, the output, and then if there's uh, an unreasonably high proportion of one class in the image, then it's probably garbage. So, like, this is an example of the kind of images that we would extract. Um, and we did some, uh, so basically we would calculate the proportions in, of each class and then basically have a cutoff threshold. Uh, we also did some testing with uh, image variants uh, to see more complex images. Yeah, and we did this because initially we sort of filtered it um, like a self-driving data set where most of the images which we kept in were uh, those that had like um, classes that are related to the road. But as George pointed out, this is supposed to be a depth data set. So like images where you're looking clearly into a field would um, would give us, um, like it would, would be in these images, but we want to keep those since they have depth. So what we did after that is looked into some of these other stuff, like um, pixel variants, just seeing um, if we could get any structure, different types of structure out of um, images, since most of the bad images looked um, as, can you go back to the first slide? Like this, where it was just like, you know, one color everywhere. Um, in the end, what we, did you so, that right so we did a couple things. Uh, pixel variants was giving us some mixed results. Uh, we also tried to do some stuff with color differences, uh, clustering on color. Uh, using like k means clustering on the colors. That didn't give us really excellent results. So then what we ended up doing was, um, so this is an example of some scenes that you might want to keep because they can, uh, uh, these sort of segment outputs would get excluded in, uh, in our initial method. But the next method we tried was we, we basically ran the depth net over the data set and that would give us some indication of whether there's any depth to extract there. So the middle image is an example of an image that's the depth uh, output is completely blown out. And so that's easy to filter out versus the other images where there's more contrast in the depth. Um, that gave us a lot better results. We were able to recover some really good images uh, like these uh, from the initial bad images that we, uh, that we excluded. Um, so we'll be pushing up those, those changes as soon as we uh, get something it looks good. We also did some more experimenting with different depth nets. Uh, initially, our approach was we wanted to try to fine tune some of these depth nets uh, on depth 10K. We kind of ran into limitations with uh, time and resources we've done. But also, we're just getting yeah. worse results. Yeah, initially just getting worse results. There, there needed to be more tuning done to get it to properly work. But we, uh, we were able to run it through some pre train models on mono depth net, which gave us actually very good results. Uh, we tried struct to depth, uh, although this is pretty old, and the results that it gave us, the cars, you can you can see like that it doesn't capture the depth very well. Um, and so then we tried this other uh, paper that's actually uh, just came out this year, uh, something uh, about instance aware monocular depth, and that gave us pretty good results as well, and that's actually that's actually what I was using to, to filter out the, uh, the images in the, from the bad images. Um, so since we weren't able to get uh, much fine tuning done on these networks, we, had, we decided to hard pivot 
over to uh, trying to put a chess engine on the Comma 3. Uh, and so we were actually able to get uh, we were actually able to get Twitch chess running on the Comma 3. And I'm currently in a very oh, with, my, with my very high quality chess engine? Yeah, with your very high quality <laughs> chess engine. I'm, I'm currently in a very heated battle. Uh, but, Bro, he's gonna take your bishop. Yeah, it, run, it runs very, very slow. If it figures that out, it's yeah. not that <laughs> if it figures it out. But um, but I it, it, it's not optimized currently, so it, it does take a, a quite a while to actually run. Um, I, but most of my time was spent trying to get uh, a Qt web app to actually display it on the Common Three screen. But Qt wasn't uh, wasn't being very nice to me, so I wasn't able to get that working in time. So, Bro, take the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> we might be here for a little while to see it. Take the bishop. It takes, it takes quite a while to take a turn for some reason. Does it take minutes? Huh? Does it take minutes? Uh, hours? <laughs> no, it doesn't take hours, but it, I mean, it does take a little bit of time. I don't know why it's so slow. I mean, I, I don't know if it's just an unoptimized thing. Or, yeah. But that's basically what we did. Cool. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Depth 10K is our new drop from this hackathon. You know, we came out with Comma 10K last hackathon. Uh, Comma 10K requires you to color each pixel. A lot of people have had a lot of fun doing that over the last year and a half. Depth 10K really doesn't require you to do that much. We appreciate the work cleaning it up, but it has three images in temporal order, so you can use this to train unsupervised depth nets. It should be the most diverse release data set uh, for doing that. So, you know, we hope that people start to use it, people start to put it in papers. Don't use Kitty and Cityscapes. Try a challenge, try Depth 10K. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue on our own trying to, to implement and fine tune some depth nets on, on 10K and hopefully get some very good results out of that. So, yep. Oh, took the best shot. Uh, Woo! Good choice, Twitch Jazz. Good choice. Does it actually work? It kind of works. Oh, it kind of works. All right. So, if you know, maybe uh, on the back of the comma three, there is not only one port, this we see, but there are two ports, and. So far, so for example, you can plug in uh, like some USB devices like a mouse or a keyboard, and they they will be uh, you can use them already. Um, but what this thing also can do is uh, it has a um, um, power uh, sorry a display port output. So you could plug in a display port cable to a monitor. The problem at the moment is it's still not uh, working in the software. So what we tried. Um, and maybe not completely succeeded, but yeah, we tried at least to make this run. So um, maybe if we can go over here. Um, yeah, and probably it might work. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I think you might have to. Well, it was working fine a minute ago. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Literally, I just ran it like five minutes ago. Okay. Well, well what would happen uh, so maybe, if we'll... Do we have to plug in a monitor? We might need to right. plug in. Oh, it's plugged oh, in already. It's, 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 it, I've already tested it's it. Oh, it's that company. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what, essentially what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to show the pattern. It unfortunately flickers up a little bit. Uh, we we're trying to figure out why exactly we couldn't really figure, figure that out. Um, when it comes to setting up the, the display port, there's different modes um, that are possible. So one of them allows it to flicker. One of them makes it super, super smooth, but it literally just kills the device completely, and then we have to reboot it again. Um, but we've gone, we went through a bunch of, like our, our team, were, we were pretty new to like the kernel stuff. So when it came to trying to figure out where exactly to find the display port, I mean, you could, you could probably talk about like the Wayland, the Wayland situation, trying to find how to connect the comma stuff to the actual display port. I mean, it was kind of a, it was, we just kept getting deeper, going deeper and deeper. 
Right, Enjoy. so uh, what we did uh, was we took an old commit that was uh, supposed to enable the display port, and we ran that through and we got the display port working using mode test. Uh, in order to get it to work, you need to display Wayland, uh, disable Wayland and uh, anything using the graphics drive. The back end, sorry. You check the monitor, maybe the monitor like, went to sleep or something. No, it's, no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, we, had to, we had to disable West End, that's why. Um, every, yeah, every Comma 3 has hardware to output DisplayPort over the expansion port. Does the USB port work if you use that thing? Yeah, yeah so. Oh, yeah. We also did. Yeah, we, we might want to show that also right there. Um, what you can actually already do with your Comma 3, if you plug in uh, a, sorry, a mouse, the cursor will actually show up. So, oh, very what you can do here, <laughs> um, we customized this a bit, but you can already open a terminal in here. <laughs> Maximize your it's terminal. It's the perfect computer for very right. tiny people. <laughs> <laughs> computer yeah. So, yeah. cool. Yeah, the mouse, the mouse, we got the mouse working. Uh, for some reason, the keyboard doesn't work. So we're trying to like program on the actual combo, which would be pretty sick. Um, but I'm sure in time we'll, so we'll get it working. Right. And then, and then obviously we try to do, this is where it like completely kills you. Do you want to hack something out there? It's Weston. Weston like brings up windows like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot. And then this takes a while to like do it again. It's not really Okay. So it looks good, but then it completely, it like, crashes it, it completely instantly. crashes it instantly. So we're trying to, Trying to figure that out why exactly. Um, That's a trade-off. <laughs> <laughs> all about trade-offs. Yeah, Deep was able to give us like the West End stuff, but even then we were we were going deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, unfortunately, cool. like, there's a great tragedy. Our West End stuff's not open source. You know, I hate making things closed source, but it was given to us. You know, uh, West End is open source though. So if you could get open source West End to run on the Common Three, I'll be very happy with you. <laughs> That's our next. Put a bounty up for that. Put a bounty up for it was, that. It was a lot of fun going into the kernel. It was, that was my first time actually even going oh, into yeah. that stuff. So it was, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Cool. Right. I think that's it for us. Yeah. Great. Uh, thank cool. you for having us. Yeah. Thank you for having us. <laughs> next. Are right. we moving down Come still, on. or is that a? Um, you guys have a? Yeah, sure. You got a show? All right. My seat's gone. <laughs> Seat's been stolen. All right, here we go. Next presentation. All right, I'm Connor, so this is Aldrin, and they say brevity is the soul of wit, so we'll try to keep it short, and maybe it'll be so short that you just wanted it to last longer. So uh, we did a UI uh, design change. Um, when you upload uh, the comma um, drives, uh, the UI kind of looks terrible, so we and dedicated some of our efforts towards making it from bad to like not as bad, but it's still not great. So this is the original. Um, so this is the original one, and then it doesn't look too good when it's um, like I, I mean like like this is like a kind of phone view, and then so, this is what we intended to create, and then. Um, so we change it a bit. If we go back to like a normal scale, it would look a bit better, in my opinion. So um, it's also more clear. Like custom, we go to custom bit range, which is more self-explanatory. And then it also looks better on mobile. So it can it has responsive web design. So everything still fits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really cool. yeah, it's simple, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. There you are. Nice. <laughs> Looks good.
So this is a tool to test the UI. Uh, so generate the UI in most of its state. Uh, currently, it's most about uh, mostly about the uh, off road and on road. Um, but yeah. Um, The demo is a little bit slow uh, because it's for uh, demonstration purpose, but we could uh, uh, speed it up with, uh, yeah, just if you want to do a real test. And what, what is the test? Uh, it generates uh, the, the UI and all the states. So at the beginning, comma prime, uh, comma not prime, not pair, etc. How can it fail? I mean, you just hash all the Yeah. Uh, you, you, okay, okay, so it's process replay for the images. It's process replay for the images, but it also allows you to test what you built. That's super cool. Uh, yeah. Um, and at the end... Uh, Does yeah. it output the hashes? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you have the nice. hashes. Uh, this is the, the, the true version that I saved in the file. Uh, so if you want, you have a new version, you can put it there, and this is the real version. Um, so yeah, then you have the, the hashes. Um, and for all the, the states. Uh, sometimes it's not the same like for, for the Wi-Fi uh, because the, it, it changed all the time, so it's not, it's not really true. And for the, the on-road, it's not the same uh, because I, I, I need to like send two frames to get exactly the same replay or maybe a video. Uh, but uh, yeah, right now it's not exactly the same, but we can see that it's pretty much the same. So yeah, that's it. How many lines is this? What? It's not 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 yet not yet. It's, okay, okay. It, it's on. It's only working on Ubuntu if you are not like on i3 or something like that. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah. No, we can't we can't uh, stream it re right now. It's not ready yet. GitHub action. This would be great. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, who's next? Is it just me? I think that's the coolest project. <coughs> that's yeah, super that's cool. cool. Yeah. That's, that's split suck. Okay. Got something useful for production. Very impressive. Is there going to be a demo on the screen? Uh, it's going to be a demo on the device. OK. Um, I'll probably send it right here. Which, this device? Yep. And after this, we got some employee ones, right? Yeah. You want to some employee demos? Are you ready for your demo? Is the body yeah. working? Uh, yeah, yeah, should work. Oh, better. <laughs> There's a, going to be two body demos. No, no, no. If you want to charge it, you got to unscrew the thing, connect the other thing, and it's really hard. Well, someone else may have to film because we might need you for one of those demos. Ooh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Three more seconds will be All right. So Any said, pretext of what we're going oh to shit, body's uh, working. Yeah, I want <laughs> it's to coming for you. On the body. Um, I think. Yeah. Uh, for those people who are new to this uh, stream, you guys all know what the common body is, right? Does anybody not know? Only body for staff. Body for everybody. Five ninety nine Q one. In fact, if I put a hundred dollar pre order up right now, how many people would buy it? Right. <laughs> Yeah! No, really though. Really. $100. Get in. Pre order. Fully refundable, right? Do you want to do it? Like Elon? Yeah. We can do it. Yeah. Refer to the come body and we'll make outrageous claims about it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. Actually, maybe if we have a little bit of downtime, we can award this special prize. I have a special prize. I promised one of these. We can give away one of those commas, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, just one though. I promised this comma to whoever came up with the best idea of what to do with the body. And I believe it was you. The scarecrow? Who suggested that the comma body could be used as a scarecrow. And this is the best idea, so congratulations. Enjoy your comma.
Speech. Wow. Speech. 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 Okay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't give the speech, but I dedicate this to all the scarecrows who will be losing their jobs. <laughs> because woo, they need to find new employment. Common Body's here to take it. <laughs> oh, great. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not joking. Maybe we will throw that pre order up. Yeah, I can throw it up. Yeah, let's throw up a pre order. $100 for Common Body's. Fully refundable. It'll ship sometime next year. Uh, just like Elon, you know? Yeah. I think, yeah, Common Body pre order, right? No pictures, just like you all know what it is. It's just no description, it just says Common Body pre order. Common Body, like, you know, like the future of people. <laughs> cool. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, I think to begin, I want to say thank you to um, the Common Team. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I learned a lot. And you guys are a great uh, inspiration for me, so thank you very much. Um, so, what I decided to work on was um, something with Common Body. Um, so, what I did was um, I decided to like put a face on it. And uh, what it does is uh, it has eyes and it will track. Um, the position of uh, it, tr it tracks. Um, it uses the driver's seat to uh, track the the driver, and then basically it just looks at you. A uh, little bit of an issue though, because like um, the driver's seat is only for like it only looks at like a particular part of the um, of uh, like what the camera sees. So uh, if you move too far left and right, it won't track you. But if you move left and right, like right here, it'll look left and right. So um, I replaced the settings with my comma eyes. So uh, when it doesn't see you, it's, it makes a sad face. But when it does see you, um, oh. it's a happy face. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's cool. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Hundred dollar deposit. The price is five ninety nine. Uh, subject to no. You know what? If you put in the pre order, I will promise you five ninety nine. We'll honor five ninety nine. So the final price is five ninety nine. So it's going to be four ninety nine more to actually buy your body. Uh, the deposit is fully refundable uh, at any time up until you know you got to put your money in and then you know that. Yeah. I think we can do it. Is this, is this, do we want to like copy Elon? Yo, by the way, by the way, I just want to give a shout out to, to real whole Mars catalog and the people who were replying like, George is just copying Elon. Elon wanted to do AI first. Check your history. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> um, yo, check your history. Uh, but great minds do think alike. I'm not saying Elon copied me. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, come on, body, uh, get in. Uh, we're going to copy Elon and do $100 pre-orders for our future product, which probably will exist, maybe someday in some form. <laughs> Great. We'll get that up after. <laughs> I'd also like to say a lot of people are asking about crypto. You can make your deposit in crypto. We accept uh, Yeah, we accept. We accept I, think, I think we actually hold the coins, too. Well, yeah, we're all yeah. Online. yeah, yeah. Uh, you can make a deposit in crypto, but it won't be refunded in crypto. I think that's um, too hard. Are deposits refundable? I don't no, know. The how deposits are fully refundable. We got to copy you on. All right, all right. <laughs> Maybe if it's crypto, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, crypto, I don't know if that's refundable. Yeah. Especially, no. It's also like, no, if you buy it in crypto, like, you know what they say about dollars? They're always worth a dollar. Right, except in that one Rick and Morty episode where he sets them equal to zero and everything goes crazy, but I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is presenting? <laughs> yeah, we got everyone. Well, All right, some cool presentations. Who's going first? How else we present the body? Is it is it in balance mode? It's not in balance yeah. mode right now. Oh, okay. Then we shouldn't go first. Why don't someone else go first? Then I'll make sure it's balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. But I know what mode it's in now, and do they want to present that? Oh, it balances no, no. still. No, it's so still you guys, same, yeah. and it's still remote control. Oh. Yeah. Wait, it's just uh, the face. Is what about the face? Hey, you have the excavation face. Hmm. Right, so right, 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 right. Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on into the research office. 
Uh, the body is tethered now because the battery died. Those it's like viewing platform. Charging yeah, batteries. No, no, no yeah, space. you guys can all see. It's balancing now, so I can kick it. Uh, it's not balancing right now. Oh, put it on balance. Um, Alright, so this is the common body. Eyes. You can see it has a face. Uh, Joseph, you want to you come take credit for the face? And then just move it somewhere, hold it, and then I'll try it. Go ahead. Yeah, it should be on. Great. Look at that. Alright. Uh, who worked on Who worked on it? I'll work on it a bit. Who else? You made the face. Oh, Joseph, Joseph worked, worked on, on it. Face. You seen worked on it. A deep copied the face from Joseph <laughs> to the branch. Deep, <laughs> deep worked on <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, so, oh, by, yeah, by the way, this is what you'll be pre-ordering for $100. Although, I do think, I, I will say that the retail version will be a little better than this. Yeah, here's an overview. Slow yeah. pan. All right, so do we want to show Comma off? Comma three not included. Do we want to show way. off what's going on in the screen right now? Yeah, you got to buy the comma three separately. Five ninety nine comma three. Oh, you seen? Do you want to <laughs> yeah. demo? Someone hold. Wait, Someone hold. Like Thank went you. back. Yeah, hold the camera. I'm go special feature. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh no. All right. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is the Is Chris branch on OpenPilot. <laughs> so it's more difficult when it it's more difficult when it moves. But yeah, but it stabilizes. Uh, if it's if it's stable, it's me. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now watch, watch, watch. You know you gotta also do not hot dog, okay? <laughs> All right. Hot dog. Not hot. Not hot. Dog. Not true. Not hot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Demo your remote control as Wait, well. do you want to say how it works? How the not how the Chris and not Chris well, detection let's works? Demo the okay, control. we'll demo yeah, the remote. All right, so I went online and I googled joystick, and then I imported <laughs> joystick, and I had joystick do a high quality GET request to a Flask server, which publishes a test joystick message on serial. And now when you go like up, oh, 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 your phone, you have to lock the rotation on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> It's still alive. Oh, oh. oh it's alive. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold it. <laughs> All right, I'm holding it. All right, I don't know. Wait, can you start to bounce again? It is it's Chris. It be no, it's not. <laughs> I think something's not. Oh, maybe this is faulted. I don't think it faulted. <laughs> Crashed. Wait, no, let's... Nice. No, I mean, it's not getting signal, right? Well, all right, so the common body was good while last. <laughs> your common body, uh, your common body will be 25% more reliable than this common body. Um, by the way, it did exactly what was commanded. The problem was I rotated the phone, and whoever wrote joystick.js, that made it jump all the way to the corner. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we just lost seven pre-orders right there. <laughs> Maybe we got more. <laughs> I don't know why it's beeping, yeah. I mean, yeah, I lost connection to the board, I'm assuming. Must have, yeah. Maybe it broke the board. Oh, well. At least it balanced for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you all saw it balance, right? This is <laughs> yeah, check out the Instagram if you want to see it. Yeah, us yeah, walking yeah, it yeah. outside. No, no, I think, did, you, did you check the window that's running board? Oh, that folded. Yeah. Oh, no, that's full. Yeah, 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 restart that. Oh, okay, here we go. Wait, you sure the board started, though? Uh, yeah, board started now. Oh, nice. it's alive! Oh, yeah. It's yeah. alive! Yeah, it's right. very reliable. All right, all right. You know what? Let's try it again. I will not rotate the phone. Yeah, let me... You know what? Let me try it from my phone, because yeah, I lock rotation on my phone. Um, it's just accessible on a very simple IP address interface. Here's joystick.py. And watch, I'm going to gently press it backwards. Well, that's forwards. <laughs> that's backwards, right? Woo. Yeah, yeah, that way's forward. So yeah, we can turn even. We'll turn, we'll drive it over to Harold, right? All right, all right. We'll drive back it, it up. Let's back it up. Yup, yup, yup. It's very high quality and robust. Woo! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can even kick it. What about the ball? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. His head uh, broke the, up. The, the mount. Oh. 
non-rigid mounts. Um, the, the mount's a little non-rigid, but the good news is this is a cheap piece of plastic. You guys just watched a comic three get thwacked into the ground twice. If you say our hardware's not reliable, you know? Got reliable hardware here. Um, Pre-order pre your comic body today. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and talk yeah, about this? Uh, yes. Do you, I don't have slides, but. Do you want to explain talking. it? Yeah. Cool. We have some ground, right? <laughs> we have the curve. Good thing we're not judging ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, it's all, oh, wait, yeah, what about this? I don't know. When's the next. Uh, wait, I get, wait, this takes a second to start up. Right, okay, right, we'll talk about Is Chris first. Yeah, is Chris. Oh, All right. You know? Maybe, maybe the day Comic Body's out, we'll do Comic Shop IRL. Comic Shop IRL. Oh, yeah. At the new office. Yeah, right when we launched the body. When we launched the office. Yes. Okay. By the way, you know that none of that stuff's using the balance code from the hoverboard. It's all running on the Comic 3. So when I kicked it, the thing, you know, it's in the Comic 3. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Yasin. I'm Weixing. We're going to talk about how uh, is Chris works, <laughs> the Chris detection branch. Uh, so um, we basically wanted to see if the DM models um, were able to recognize people without any training, without any fine tuning. Um, so do you, you all know how the DM model works. It's a convolutional neural network that takes uh, the frames of uh, the driver and then predicts uh, many things. Um, one of the things is if it's distracted or not distracted, right? Um, so we go before the, uh, the head that says if it's distracted or not, and we pick what we call the feature maps, which is an 800 dimensional vector. And based on that, we created what we call the virtual Chris, <laughs> <laughs> which is a template of what the feature map of a Chris photo should look like. Um, and after that, on, on the device, we just compare the actual feature map to the virtual Chris, uh, and if the distance is low enough, it's Chris. If the distance is high enough, it's not Chris. And the distance is just an L2 distance. Um, and uh, Wei Xin came up with a nice trick uh, to avoid uh, some of the uh, false positives. You want to explain that? Yeah. So uh, if you just use like the vanilla like virtual Chris feature vector, it like contains many features for Chris. Say when. Where is his head when it's driving and when he's looking at or something like that? So we don't want that in comparing like to other persons. Say if person is a person stands in front of the camera like, like in the position where like Chris is normally driving, it would probably say like it's Chris because like it's in the position which is encoded in the feature vector. So to filter that out, we we just like we can simply rank the feature vector using uh, by uh, comparing like the standard deviation like throughout like say one segment or a segment when Chris is driving and then we filter out like the the most changing ones and we only like li use like the the least changing ones which is most uh, more likely to be you know what's Chris himself. So the, so. so the features that change a lot are describing how features how Chris uh, moves his head, dynamics, how Chris yes. is, uh, is standing <laughs> and the feature that doesn't change are encoding actually Chris, virtually. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Chris so is back. That's how it works. <laughs> so that's how that's how it works. No training at all. Um, just a very low tech, simple trick. Yeah. Thanks. Ooh. Pretty cool. I mean, master open pilot soon, so you know when I'm driving. <laughs> all right, who's next? Mitchell, do you want to go next, or are we going in, in there? Or are you bring coming out? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Actually, maybe we should. Uh, let me boot this up. Well, maybe the back's. Uh, right, this is gonna take a second. So Sounds good. You said virtual. Yes. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Vivek. Uh, I just wanted to get uh, lane changes working on Carla. Uh, first, to get Carla working was a big task. <laughs> Uh, so, let's see. Why does the car just work? Uh, it hasn't worked for like a month. No, I thought we had regression tests. Oh, no. Regression tests. Oh. Oh. Also now, uh, uh, so the... Let me put it on the screen. 
So the images are over uh, Vision IPC. Did we have to change the Carla fixes? No, I should. Can so we? yeah, but I think I need to make a Carla car because this is right now the Palisade. Okay, so it's driving, and you can see that the steering wheel. Uh, That's so cool. Drives. It turns. Okay, it's doing a left turn. It's a real palisade. Yeah, it's a real palisade. <laughs> Desk palisade. <laughs> so uh, the thing that I actually wanted to do was lane change. So you can change the lane. So f let it finish the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I want to <laughs> lane change in a turn. <laughs> As we all know, that's a bad thing to do. <laughs> Someone needs to improve the tuning. Yeah, yeah. Tuning. So yeah, we have to make a car. Like car. So OK. Uh, yeah, hey, Greg. Greg was. Uh, also here till like 4 a.m. in the night we were fixing this. So you can first you have to put on the blinker and then you give it dark and then it changes the lane and then you switch off the blinker. Yeah. Wait, can I drive? Uh, yeah. Oh, yo, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I got to go back. Let's go oh, back. that's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yo. Got that real force feedback. You know, yeah. remember playing Need for Speed and yeah, you had a wheel? Yeah. This is a real wheel! Real yeah, so motor! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, I think it's... Uh, it's because I turned the wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah don't do that. It happens in a real car, too. <laughs> yeah, so we had a dream of uh, having this infinitely long road on which Open Pilot drives or, uh, a little bit closer. That's it. Yeah, look at that. Does it feel good? Like it feels. Yeah, like yeah, it a... gives you like oh. the resistance. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, this is great. Then you can you gotta keep this working. You can do it's cool. live palisade. Lane change, change lanes, and then and then you stop the blinker on it. Once it's done, you stop the blinker. Yeah. Awesome. Woo. Okay, who's next? Okay. All right, so I made a little Mindstorms tank and uh, I ran it around for a little while and collected training data of it bumping into things and not bumping into things. And then I trained a model to predict when it was about to bump into things. And now I am just uh, running it around trying to not bump into things. So let's see. Uh, car tank. Look how cute this is. Someday this software will come to the body. That's and right. You'll get it first if you put a pre order in right now for $100. <laughs> and by right now, I mean once we put it live. I think we're going to get at least three. All right. Let's, let's see how it goes. All right. Will it hit things? See if it. Oh. oh. What happened to our board? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. It's not moving. <laughs> Come a body so moves too much. Uh, shoot. Do you want some time? Uh, yeah. I'm going to come back to this one. Okay. Shoot. What else we got? Any other presentations? Yeah, Igor, you should talk about your... Yeah, like, I didn't have a presentation, but I was working mostly on... Uh, research of uh, Can FD car Kia Sorento. I confirmed that it's Can FD. I got some data to understand what needs to be merged into uh, Red Panda to support Can FD, what needs to be merged uh, into Open Pilot, and what needs to be done to port this car. So, uh, also, I got roads with the data and I think tomorrow I'm gonna merge into master support of KNFD for Red Panda for full support uh, I don't know when we're gonna merge KNFD for open pilot but I suspect pretty soon uh, so that's that's all no? great cool. all right. Does it work, Mitchell, or not yet? Uh, I'm restarting the break. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. 
Let me. <laughs> Alex and I are working on uh, making support, refactoring support. Right. You came down to me. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, we have pretty good feedback around support, but it was it was becoming a, a big task, and we want people to be able to support themselves. It's really important. Yes. Um, so yeah, the whole the whole rework is going to help people support themselves, uh, making some quick videos on how to do things like factory reset, some things people have questions about. Uh, so that'll be nice. I'm very and, excited uh, for the videos. Yeah, the videos going to be great. Our support response email. Yeah. We added um, a ton of new frequently asked questions to our Zendesk and we've publicized the Zendesk. Mm -hmm. So now you can access it instead of FAQ, which was very limited. Yes, there's a new support tab on, uh, on the Kama website. So check it out. Yeah. Cool, that was our project. <laughs> <laughs>3 for up to 4 hours maybe no promises if you pre-order it might be more like 30 minutes who knows 4 hours possible in parentheses so do you want to just explain like how 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 it avoids oh yeah no uh I'll kill it cuz it's getting kind of tangled up uh it so it just uh, uses the the wide camera on the Comet 3 so I I gathered a bunch of data of it moving around and I uh, used the accelerometer to to actually find out what bumped into things. And it's only trained on like, you know, four minutes of video total. Uh, so it's pretty crazy that you can fine tune a network to predict when you're gonna bump into something with only like four, four minutes of data. So. What was the base network, the ImageNet or? Yeah, just an ImageNet Resident 18. Yeah. That's the first use of the wide camera on the Comet 3. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you, Joseph. That was great. Cool. Thanks, Mitchell. Someone said another $100 pre-order for the comma vacuum. <laughs> How about if it doesn't vacuum, but it stands <laughs> up? You can lean a vacuum up against it. <laughs> I promise the real one will fall over less than the one you saw. Yes, we can confirm that. Oh, uh, is the screen one? Oh, uh, yeah, it might be on screensaver. Let's see. Is that a real right. thing? Oh, perfect. Screensaver, coming to the common three, no more burning. <laughs> uh, so one of the projects was to explore uh, some of the faces for the common body. 
So like I want the idea to use some sort of a, a pixel grid, uh, and then to use different expressions. Uh, but one of my projects was to look into streamlining the website, and we have some early stage, early stage prototype over here. So the challenge was how to com how can we communicate more or better what are the products and what do we offer. Um, so this is like a quick first time preview. Introducing Coma Three, Open Pilot, fifty one percent daily miles engaged. Um, one of the some of the feature features uh, key features of the Open Pilot. Drive monitoring, the upcoming laneless. Uh, compatibility, which is very important, uh, supporting over 140 cars, testimonials, some media, some user reviews from the recent uh, video, uh, Exciting. Mm -hmm. and then the final call to action, uh, comma two, comma three, and then the 90 days trial. And, uh, big cool. cooler, yep. So very early stage, just like exploration. How can we streamline the structure? Yeah. This is just an ad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your calm body is an ad, but it lives in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Website's great. Uh, okay, I think we have to have a little uh, powwow to discuss prizes. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do that with a live stream. This is usually the part of the circus where they bring the clowns in, you know? That's what circuses do, they bring in clowns and they got to Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, all right, all right. Who, wants to, who wants to discuss prizes? Who wants, who wants the live stream? <laughs> Great. Uh, feel free to go interview people and, you know, Oh, okay. Use the joysticks and the gimbal. So nice. All right. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll go through and uh, talk to the various attendees. Who wants to volunteer to talk? Who we the most uh, interesting person here. Hey, guys. Ah, all right. That was easy. All right. So, hey, tell us about yourself. And I'm on TV, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know how to use this gimbal. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Let's see, is there comments? My name is Cameron. You should, once my Mario Kart thing is upstream, you should try running it in like flight simulators and stuff. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. Did you show, did you like make a how to on how to hook into? Yeah, it'll just be run the command and you type in the window name. It'll work. I gotcha. All right. Well, it'll be pretty easy. Anyone who wants to run yeah. what he wrote and on any simulator, you also got it to run on different games, too. I tried it to, uh, I tried it on TF2 oh, and actually like the soldier like walked around a little bit. I like, wish avoided you obstacles. That video. That video was like, Oh, I should have shown it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So when he upstreams it, everyone should give it a shot. Uh, yeah, it was. It, people are saying it's pretty rad. So. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Anyone else wants to talk to the audience? I mean. Buy a comma three. Yeah. The more. Buy a comma three. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, run on a PC. Star Citizen. They say you should run it on Star Citizen. Okay. How? Any? Anyone want to? Talk to the crowd? No? Okay, so there's a lot of guys who don't want to talk to anyone here. So uh, well, I'm kind of curious, man. I'm a little curious. Um, yeah. If, so the Comma 3 has Bluetooth. So I'm curious if there's anyone who has ideas when it comes to like Bluetooth. That's something I'm like, would love to do Ooh, yeah. on the Comma 3. Um, me and me and Rebel talked about Comma Chat, maybe. I don't know. I Ooh. think it would be pretty. <laughs> I, thought, I don't know. I, thought, I still like that okay, idea. So I still like that imagine idea. if you're stuck in traffic and... You know, Kama's driving because, you know, driving is chill. The idea is you can talk to everyone that has Kama Chat installed, and it's like a little mini chat room. <laughs> Exclusively for Kama 3 owners and Kama Prime. Um, I, maybe. Maybe, yes. I don't know. Anyway, anyone who wants to make it should totally <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, Kama's, definitely. <laughs> open Pilot is open source. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. Any, you want to talk to me? Yeah, nothing to say. <laughs> nothing to say? All right. I can pitch tuning cars more. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You want a car that is the best open pilot experience you can get. And the best way to do that is to follow the plan exactly. And the best way to do that is to tune your controllers. So, talk to Cadmus. 
run the plot juggler layout, and uh, we will tune all 140 vehicles that Kama uh, supports, it, and more tomorrow. And more is, it, is it complicated to tune your car? I'm curious. It is a procedure that I'll write the wiki for, okay. but I'd say it takes a weekend. Weekend to work for a lifetime of open pilot. <laughs> and you could say, I tuned my car, and how many people can say that? Right. <laughs> Alright, so you guys heard him for you guys heard from him first. Look for his push. Is oh, it is, uh, is it gonna be pulled into plot juggler for it you to already landed. So ah, it's already part of open. Oh pilot. what the heck already? Yeah, okay. I got the pull request approved. Nice. Okay, well in that case, look out for today. You can already <laughs> tune your car. <laughs> Neat. Okay. Let's see, what if Man, it's really hard to read the comments on here. Do people yeah. like Anyway. All right, we're back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Okay, all right, the ballots are in. Uh, I didn't lose the envelope because I don't have an envelope, right? So when I make up the winners of the Oscars, it's all cool. Who gets my reference? All right. Um, I'm going to tie my shoe here. All right. Uh, we're going to start with an honorable mention. Um, I mean, you know, it did have, it did say Twilio trial account, but it did do something. So who was on the Sentry team? Sentry team? Hello. Sentry team. You guys win comma hoodies. Ooh. Honorable mention the comma hoodies. Comma hoodies in any size. These are worth $69 a piece. Yeah. They yeah. are ultra rare. Okay. In third place. Useful. Beautiful. Upstreamed. Tuning for your comma device. Third place. You win one of every color panda. That is a white panda. A black panda. And a red panda. Pan FD. GPS. And I don't know what white pandas do, but uh, <laughs> I know you as Cadmus. You didn't give me your real name, so. Cadmus is good. Cadmus, congratulations on third prize. Okay. Our second prize. It was probably the most entertaining uh, presentation, even though it hit a wall a few times. <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> you, 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 have, you have a common device? No. Do you have a supported car? I think so, yeah. What's your car? Corolla? <laughs> Corolla. Uh, we're going to be extra nice. We're not. We're going to give you a comma two, but not just a comma two. We're also going to hook you up with a Toyota harness. <laughs> Here's your comma two. for your Toyota harness. Um, our first place goes to something at comma we've been discussing doing for a while, but we haven't done. I believe your name is Maxime for UI testing. Congratulations on your brand new Comma 3 Cross Country Edition. <laughs> do, 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 you have, do you have a Comma device? Uh, no. Do you have a sported car? I don't think it's supported. Oh, you got, you got a fancy device, man. I think that thing's nice. You know what? You know what? Let's hook him up with a way. A comma serial, so we can hook it up in his house. Okay. Right? Comma serial, that's the harness for the unsupported car. Um, it'll look great on your comma body for your order today. Let's go to a Sonata. Oh, uh, you want a Sonata? Oh, I'm not that generous. But um, thank you all for coming out to the hackathon. Uh, if you'd like to participate next year, uh, you have one year to acquire skills for next year's CTF. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Thank uh, you, Colin, for organizing and Adib for writing the CTF. Woo! Um, and we'll see you next year in our new office. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> new, beautiful office. Yeah. There'll be more room. We can have more people. All right. Everyone say bye to the stream. Yeah.